Hi, y'all. It's Joanne. Welcome. Happy Monday morning. Hope everyone had a good weekend. So today I'm here to show you what's new in my shop. So let's, let's just move some of this aside and get started. First, I'm going to start with these. These I did on a video a couple days back. These were inspired by Shana over at Chinooka Art. I love how these came out. The technique makes it come out so this is looking kind of like leather. Very vintage look to them. But I thought these would make great journal cards. They were done on index cards, so you've got plenty of journaling space on the back. But there's a set of four of those. And then this is one of Rachel's um, Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I did this one on a video also. It's the double pockets, little flip open. I thought these were really cute. And these are made to um, get sewn into a signature. So it'd be like this, and then that would be the other side. So I thought that was a really cute idea. Like I said, I have a video of making these. Really another cute challenge by Rachel. So I've got that. That'll be in the shop. And then I've got this. I also did this one on a video. And this is, it's a little notepad ephemera holder made out of a lunch bag, just a brown paper bag. Here's the bag part. It comes with 25 pieces of ephemera. It's just a, a nice assortment different pieces. I'm not going to go through every single piece, but it's just a nice variety. thought these were all real cute. They're nice to have in your stash. But that's, that's those. So let's tuck these back in here. And then you open this up. And just did some layering over here. And then you've got a little notepad. Some coffee dyed paper. And a little flip out, or if you want to put some glue and make it a little pocket, tuck spot. Got that. And there's the back, and you've got a pocket and a little journal card there. Some of these papers are from Leanna Scrap, and some were from uh, Pink Monarch prints, like these. So that's that, and it comes with the Sari Silk ribbon closure. And then, last but not least, I have a journal. And package of goodies to go with it. So let's, let me show you this. Just get this untied. Nice piece of the crinkled seam binding to go with it if you want to keep it on. The cover is fabric. The inside is wallpaper. And this is a wallpaper pocket. Got a couple of tags in here. And these papers are from Leanna Scrap. I showed you her whole kit, kit um, last week. This is just some tracing paper. Love the way that the other papers look coming through. And I've left this pretty, pretty bare because we've got this whole bag of goodies I'll show you in a minute. That's some of the food color dyed paper. Get a little stem.
stenciling here and there. This is some coffee dyed composition notebook paper. I love how that takes the coffee. It just turns it into such a pretty color. And I've got some blue and a little bit of pink and green in this. And that's food color again. Notebook page, some coffee dyed paper. More from the kit. A little bit of lace glued on over here. Like I said, it's mostly blank, but I did do, you know, a few things here and there. Coffee dyed paper. There's another tuck spot. This is made out of wallpaper. Thought that went really nice with the um, food color dyed papers. Get some stenciling, some little birds on here. Just some uh, lace ribbon and then a little, I don't know if you can tell it's pink, but a little pink netting over it. Oh, that was cute. What have I got? Got some glue somewhere. A little more stenciling. Some book page. Tracing paper. And then we've got a pocket at the back. And I just made this little little notepad to tuck in this pocket here. So I thought that came out really cute. And then to go with it, I've got this bag full of all kinds of goodies. Now this is something that you can use to decorate this journal, but there's plenty in here, as you'll see, that you can use on quite a few projects. And it's just bits and pieces of a lot of different things that I thought would be nice to build your stash or just have in your stash. Got some blue lace. And just little bits and pieces of paper. These inked around the side. These make really cute little clusters. You know, and you can even just you know, do something like that with it. Oh, that bird was real cute. Some more little shabby sheet kind of papers. A couple of tags from Leanna's kit piece of wallpaper. Some music paper here. Some more of the lace. Piece of that pink um, dyed paper. This is really nice. I like using little bits of different papers like this. And then I um, Spanish dictionary page, piece of wallpaper, some shabby sheet paper, got a few little white appliques, and then this little bag of goodies. A lot of these are from the collection that Lindsay and I collaborated on. We both have the collection in our individual shops. So we've got some of these. So it's just a nice little stash builder. Have handy to make, you know, put in this journal or in some other projects. But I thought I'll, these papers that I have would be really cute in the journal. And what else? I think that's it. So I thank you for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you're interested in any of these, they will be in my shop today. Thank you.